Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. And we're back. This is another question of the week. It couldn't be more perfect right now because it is very seasonally uh, relatable to everyone. Uh, we yeah. are talking lawnmowers today and uh, probably one of the biggest questions that comes up in the spring. So <laughs> let's see if Steve can answer this for us. I'm getting them all the time. Just what? <laughs> so many every day right now. It's it, like April said, just it's a time of year. Okay. okay. Here's our question of the week. It says, I pulled my lawnmower out for the first time this year and it won't start. Anybody relate to that? <laughs> Yeah. Can you tell me what I should check so I don't have to take it to the shop? Because, of course, taking it to the shop is going to be super expensive and it might be a really quick, easy fix. Yeah, that's a really good point, you know. Sometimes it just takes you 15 seconds to do something. So let's, uh, what do you got for us? So there, there's actually several reasons why you pull it out in, a, 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 in the springtime after it's been sitting all winter long and it won't start. There's several reasons for that. Okay, well, give us the top five reasons. We'll leave the, the big one to the end because most of you already know that anyways. But, or do you? Or, yeah, yeah, maybe <laughs> you don't. But I'll tell you something that's happened a few times with me that's very rare. Actually, a couple things. When you put that um, lawnmower away, the last time you use it, you know that lawnmower just ran perfectly fine. And then you go stick it in your garage and it sits there for months before you come out this spring and start your lawnmower. Now, if you don't winterize it properly, I've seen this actually several times and it's kind of weird because the valves are, you don't set the valves right in that thing. And the valve, the, especially the intake valve, might be stuck, might, might, might be open when you store it. And then all the gasoline on that intake valve starts um, evaporating and it starts getting, it turns into glue pretty oh. much. It turns green and it turns into glue and then varnish. And it can actually stick that intake valve open Actually, it doesn't matter if it's open or closed. It just glues it in the position where it is. And then when you go to start your engine, it's glued in that position and the intake valve won't move. Huh. That is actually quite rare, but I have see, actually seen, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, so I've actually seen that many times. Uh, the other rare thing is, is okay, that... Okay, so that was number one. Check your valves. Number two. Make sure your valves are moving right. properly. Yeah. Okay. And how you know that's going, that's actually happening for you is because you will have no compression. Okay, let's just leave that one at that. The next one is that the cable, the brake cable, where you pull that the the bale down to pull the the brake cable, that actuates your micro switch at the bottom, which is your on off switch and your flywheel brake. You're turning those the flywheel brake off and the switch on. Sometimes letting them sit over the winter, that cable, especially if you're not in a garage or something like that, some people put them under a tarp outside where it's moist and everything, and that cable can get rusted up. And then the next year, you go to pull that brake handle down, and the cable is rusted and jammed, and it's not pulling your on-off switch off and on anymore. It's stuck. So it's kind of a little bit easy to figure out that because you just pull it, pull that bail handle up and down and see if that cable's actually moving. Hmm. So that is something I've seen uh, several times in my life too. Okay. It's as simple as that. Number yeah. two, check your cables. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Believe it or not, this is more common than you might think. I've actually done this before. I don't know if you remember this. It was like a couple of years ago. I think it was our pressure washer. Pulled the pressure washer out for the first time. Same concept, it's a lawnmower, but I was pulling on it, pulling on it, choking it, trying to fire this pressure washer up. And uh, I went, um, oh no. And I opened the gas cap. I looked in there and it was bone dry. Mm, you got no gas in there. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, if you've ever done anything that dumb before, like me, I, you do one of these. 
you, you look in there and you go. To see if anybody's seen Did you. anybody see that? <laughs> Did anybody see that? And you're like, oh, nobody saw that. Thank goodness. And you oh, put wow. some gas in there and maybe that's your problem. And believe it or not, that is actually, I mean, I made that mistake probably more than once, but. So, it's just something that slips your mind, right? Well, put some gas in there. Okay, number three. Check to make sure you've got gas in your lawnmower. <laughs> now, you see this little float bowl on the bottom here? It holds about an ounce of fuel. Gasoline. That's full. You let it sit all winter long. The fuel is bad in there. On some of these, see how there's a little uh, drain plug right there? If it won't start, it won't start. Crack that open and drain the fuel out of the bowl and it's going to be stinky old gas. And then the, the fuel that's in your fuel tank, it's a bigger quantity, so it lasts longer. It doesn't go as bad as a small quantity. And then you crack that open and wait till you get fresh gas and it smells, hey, that smells like fresh gas right from the station. And then sometimes that will solve your problem too. Now all of a sudden... Yeah, it just fired up because it's not trying to pull old skanky gas into your engine. And now it's fresh gas again. And sometimes that helps. So try, I mean, that's easy thing, right? Number four, to check. check that bowl. Yep. Okay, and number five, the most common reason? It has also to do with that old fuel being in there. Once it sets for a long time, if you take that bowl off... There's a main jet right down the center of that. All of your fuel that is supplying the engine to make it run goes through a tiny little main jet in there. It is so tiny, it is pretty much the size of a bread tie. What do you call them? Twist ties? Twist ties. You know, you take the plastic off or whatever, and it's that tiny little wire. It's about that size. All the fuel for your engine goes through there. Even if you drain your... Uh, fuel out at the end of the year before you store it sometimes it'll still crust in on that and, and plug that jet right off that in my opinion in my experience is the number one reason that your lawnmower will not start in the springtime because that jet is plugged off now huh. and uh, wow. don't we have videos on all this stuff we do we'll put links down yeah now, and of course if you're talking bad gas, I mean, what can you do about that? You can put some sort of stabilizer or something in it to uh, prevent it from going bad over the winter? Yes, it, and that's exactly it about stabilizer. Stabilizer does not restore bad gas. It prevents gasoline from going bad in the first place. A lot of, we get a lot of comments on our channel too saying, well, just, you know, if you have bad gas in there, just put stabilizer in there and it somehow rejuvenates the gas. No, it doesn't. Bad gas is bad gas. Do it before winter, not after winter. And then I've got a few questions for you. Oh, good Lord. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've read a few things because here I'm no expert. But uh, what about uh, spark plugs? That comes up a lot. So what I'm thinking right now, I mean, the, the guy's question was actually... Um, you know, it ran fine when he put it away for the winter and now it's just been sitting all winter long and now it won't start in the springtime. Your, your spark plug can't magically just go bad by storing it over the winter. So I, I don't think the spark plug has anything to do with it, honestly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, another one that comes up a lot is a dirty air filter. What about that one? Hey, you know what? I actually have seen that before where where if you store it out in the elements a little bit, even under a tarp, I've seen pulled air filters out before that are 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 wet mm. from from just moisture in the air and they have mold on them. Yeah. There's mold growing on them and they actually are plugged. That's actually a good point, April. Huh. So yeah, and how easy is that? You just pull Check it you out. Know, you know what? Easy way to do that, if your lawnmower won't start, just pull your air filter out and try it again. And look at your air filter, it's probably going to be noticeably gross. Okay, so uh, of course we do have a lot of videos that go with that, so we'll post them underneath the video, so you should go back and check those out because, of yeah. course, to see a little bit more detailed how to check these things out. Um, yeah, we go into a lot more depth in those, so in the in the description and the pinned comment. Yeah, put, we'll put that you, in there for you. You'll put the links? Excellent. Yeah, for cool. sure. 
Good. Well, awesome. So that's great. So that was your top five reasons why in, the lawnmower won't start. In my opinion, right? There's yeah. a lot of you guys out here who fix your own lawnmowers and stuff. And maybe if you have some other suggestions, put them down in the comment section. Tell all of us, maybe you, you saw something once in your life that maybe, hey, this was the problem. Fire them down there. Let sure. us all know. Absolutely. But uh, hopefully this will help uh, some of you out there with your mowers that won't start. Let's get them started and running because, of course, that grass is going to start to grow any yeah. day now. <laughs> as soon as we get some sunshine. April, April, <laughs> April needs to go mow our lawn right now. I'm still waiting. <laughs> nah, I'll leave that to Steve. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for uh, sticking with us. This was another question of the week. If you missed last week's, uh, it was uh, all on hydro locking, um, a hydro locked engine. So always go back to the saloon mail uh, playlist and check that out yeah. and uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we're done for this week. So we will see you next week for another question of the week. And until then, Steve and April out.